Doug for the Slayers and the Yamaha team. I'm going to tell you a little bit about his race bike. This year is a Kyle and I's first year on the team, and uh, we kind of signed the deal a little last minute, so we're still still uh, gelling with everyone. And uh, we started building the bike. Uh, I got the frame shipped on Wednesday, and uh, so Chad and everyone flew in, and we kind of stayed up all night long building the bike and getting everything going. And fired it up Thursday morning, headed straight to the track, broke it in, shook it down a little bit, made sure everything good, made sure he's comfortable on it, and literally threw it in the truck and drove straight up here. Uh, and made it made it uh, pretty good timing, so pretty much right in time to stage. So it worked out pretty good that we made it. The Chad Sander did the engine, and uh, it, he did a really good job. Kyle sets really fast, and uh, I don't think he's gonna have a problem with power this year. Kyle likes uh, likes a, you know real smooth, real smooth power. He doesn't really like a lot of hit off bottom. He likes the power to you know have a have a good range throughout the mid and top, and he uh, kind of he says he gets a little. A little squirrely with a lot of bottom end, so he likes to be able to be, able to be a lot smoother on the bike and stuff like that. Uh, we got FMF pipes off the shelf, pretty darn good. Can't complain with those for sure. Uh, this is uh, Enzo's uh, KYB kit stuff with uh, air internals and uh, the shocks, the shock that you can uh, buy with the kit. And uh, Ross did an awesome job on it. It's really good. No testing really at all. We ch changed, messed with some air pressure and changed a couple clickers and he was he was really comfortable on it in no time. Yeah, Kyle uh, ran Enzo for a lot of years in the past and uh, so I feel like they probably had some pretty good settings already and kind of knew what he liked right off the bat. So first try, they, they nailed it. So really, really good. Yeah, we got the, we did the frames black this year. Chad did it all in house at his shop and uh, frame and swing arm. And then uh, we, we run the Slater Skins uh, plastic. It's uh, all one piece on the side, and then we run the shield on the front for uh, better uh, sponsorship advertisements. So it really, really stands out in pictures. Uh, we run the Excel A60 rims. Uh, a little bit, they're quite a bit stronger in stock and still pretty light. So we like to run those with the stock hubs, and uh, it's a pretty good combo. It's the Recluse Torque Drive and uh, Kyle honestly won't ride a bike without one. He, he, he has to have one in there. He thinks it's, thinks it's the best thing, best thing made, I feel like. He, he loves that thing. Kyle uh, likes the Mika MC bin. He says those are the most comfortable. And uh, with the Mika, no waffle grips. And we run a Brembo front brake, and he likes the, the way the, the feel. And uh, we, we run the, the ride clamps. He says those are really good, and they're pretty cool, blue. And uh, offset, we're running just 22 right now. We messed with 20s, and he said, it, he said he kind of likes the lazier, lazier feel in the turns. So we ran, we went ahead and went with the stock offset. Uh, we run the light, the light speed carbon fiber skid plate and disc guard, and then the fork cover on the other side. Uh, just lightweight and looks really cool. So nice little knickknack for the bike. Yeah, I've been working for Kyle for a little over a year now, and uh, he's honestly pretty darn easy to work for. I mean. We uh, gel really well, and uh, I kind of know how. I already kind of set his bars and lever for him pretty close, and kind of got that figured out. And he just he rides whatever I put him on, so it's really easy to work for. So that's Kyle's race bike. Keep an eye on number 42 out there.